We often witness disagreements and arguments in numerous sectors of our lives, whether when we are in a classroom, at home, in the workplace, etc. Meaningful discussions always allow us to exchange ideas, challenge our perspectives, and arrive at better informed conclusions. These not just assist in expanding our knowledge, but also in the formation of a well-informed society. However, within these exchanges, a logical fallacy known as ad hominem frequently rears its ugly head. This fallacy derives from the Latin word argumentum ad hominem, which translates to against the person. The term may sound unsettling, but its essence is a simple concept. It happens when they shift the conversation from discussing the ideas to targeting the person behind those ideas. The ad hominem fallacy can be traced back to ancient times, especially in Greece, where philosophers engaged in rigorous discussions and dialectic exchanges. Although the art of rhetoric and persuasion was highly appreciated, Aristotle, a famous Greek philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on the argument itself rather than attacking the person presenting it. Despite Aristotle's stubbornness, the ad hominem never went out of style. Its determination to stick around is remarkable. Think of it as that one fashion trend you hoped would disappear, but somehow managed to make a comeback. It's a fallacy that has stood the test of time. Even in today's world, the ADN fallacy continues to plague political discourse across various domains. Whether it's election campaigns, media interviews, or social media platforms, politicians often resort to personal attacks to undermine opponents targeting their personal lives, appearance, or past actions. While this may be entertaining at times, it is not meant for rational discourse. This tactic is obviously meant to appeal to public emotions rather than reason. The advent of the internet and social media has further amplified the reach of the fallacy. Online discussions frequently devolve into personal attacks fueled by anonymity, polarization, and the ease of spreading misinformation. The relative anonymity provided by online platforms often emboldens individuals to launch personal attacks without fear of immediate consequences. There are four main forms of ad hominem fallacies. First, abusive ad hominem, this occurs when someone attacks the character or personality of the person making the argument. They resort to insults or derogatory language against the person. For example, you can't trust John's opinion on climate change because he's superstitious. Instead of evaluating the evidence and logic behind John's opinion, the focus is shifted to his character, which is irrelevant to the validity of his argument. Second, Circumstantial ad hominem, this fallacy occurs when someone's argument is dismissed based on their circumstances or personal interests, rather than addressing the argument itself. For example, of course, she supports the tax cut. She's a wealthy business owner. It doesn't mean that the business owner is wealthy, which automatically means the person's views on tax policy are biased or self-serving. Individual support for the tax cut might be based on various economic principles or ideological reasons that could be valid and worth considering. Third, appeal to hypocrisy ad hominem focuses on discrediting the person based on their failure to practice what they preach. For example, how can you criticize me for smoking when I've seen you smoking too? Deflecting criticism of smoking by pointing out the other person's own smoking habits doesn't invalidate the concerns raised against smoking. Fourth, guilt by association and hominem. Here, the person's argument is criticized based on their association with a particular group or individual, regardless of the argument's validity. Example, she's citing that research from a website run by extremists. Her argument must be just as extreme and unreliable, dismissing the credibility of someone's research solely because it's associated with a particular website, assumes guilt without evaluating the researchers accuracy or reliability. The ad hominem fallacy is a logical error that weakens effective discussion. It is critical to avoid personal attacks and focus on the substance of arguments. 
By doing so, we may promote a more reasoned and courteous dialogue, which is favorable to discovering truth and making sound judgments.